Hello everybody, welcome to Joy Daughter of God on YouTube. My name is Amy and today it is July 26th, 2023. And today's daily scripture readings are found in 1 Peter chapter 1 verses 13 through 16 and Psalm chapter 5 verses 7 through 8. But I'm going to read all of Psalm chapter 5 as a prayer and then I will come back and reiterate verses 7 through 8. And as always, let us get started with the index scripture first. So 1 Peter chapter 1 starting at verse 13 and the word says therefore gird up the loins of your mind be sober and rest your hope fully upon the grace that is to be brought to you at the revelation of christ jesus as obedient children not conforming yourselves to the former lust as in your ignorance but as he who is called I'm sorry, but as he who called you is holy, you also be holy in all your conduct. Because it is written, be holy, for I am holy. Amen. And on the index card, I have written a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I come before you in the name of your Son, Jesus, and I ask for your help. Help us to be obedient children to you and not conform ourselves to our former lust, but help us to be holy because you are holy. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So now, let us do Psalm chapter 5. Father God, I come before you in the mighty name of your son Jesus, and I lift up Psalm, um, Psalm chapter 5 as a prayer for all your children, Father God, and for all the saints out there. Give ear to my words, O Lord. Consider my meditation. Give heed to the voice of my cry, my King and my God. For to you I will pray. My voice you shall hear in the morning, O Lord. In the morning I will direct it to you, and I will look up. For you are not a God who takes pleasure in wickedness, nor shall evil dwell with you. The boastful shall not stand in your sight. You hate all workers of iniquity. You shall destroy those who speak falsehood. The Lord abhors the bloodthirsty and deceitful man. But as for me, I will come into your house in the multitude of your mercy. In fear of you, I will worship toward your holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before my face. For there is no faithfulness in their mouth. Their inward part is destruction. Their throat is an open tomb. They flatter with their tongue, pronounce them guilty, O God. Let them fall by their own counsels. Cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against you. But let all those rejoice who put their trust in you. Let them ever shout for joy because you defend them. Let those also who love your name be joyful in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous with favor. You will... You will surround him as with a shield. Amen. And Father God, I just pray, give each and every person the guidance and show them what it is and how it is that you want them, what you want them to do and how to handle the people who's coming against them. Because Lord, you know that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities and the evilness and the wickedness and the, um, rulers on high and the evil spirits lord so when people are coming against us it's not them directly it's the spirits behind them lord so help us to remember that and help us to act accordingly and to fight accordingly with how you want us and how you show us in your word that you are our defender lord and so we pray for our enemies and the ones who come against us lord we ask that you uh, help them to stop and cease the attacks in your mighty name, Jesus. And we ask to, that you open up their eyes to what it is that they're doing. And that they come to know you, Jesus, as their personal Lord and Savior. And to be reconciled back to Abba Father. And have the Holy Spirit come and dwell in them and be baptized with the Holy Spirit fire as well. Allow us to remember to pray for our enemies, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray and I thank you. Amen. All right, so reiterating verses 7 through 8 of Psalm chapter 5. But as for me, I will come into your house in the multitude of your mercy. 
In fear of you, I will worship toward your holy temple. Lead me, O Lord, in your righteousness because of my enemies. Make your way straight before my face. Amen. And I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed morning, noon, or night whenever you come across this video. God bless each and every one of you all. Take care. Bye.